What's going on guys? So last week I decided to work on planning out the whole ranged or bow combat system and this week I started with the first few steps of creating the actual animation and the bow that will be in the player's hand as well as making it a scriptable object um, item so it could be put in the action slots and then equipped and so on and so forth. So uh, last week I worked on here the uh, the steps so I didn't do anything with the camera yet um, but what I did was go into blender and I did work on um, different animation for the character in the bow so I made this bow mesh and then I uh, put on the character and made some animation so that he pulls it back and then let's go into pose mode here. So this is the bone bowstring. So I made it uh, that part of the animation and So you can see it slowly pulls it back. And then right here is the, the recoil. So in fast motion, it looks like it's uh, like a rubber band. So what I did was watch a few videos of uh, how other, how archers actually shoot bows and I tried to mimic that. And so I created the animation, I did that, and then I put it into Unity so when the player, let's say, equips an item, so I have the sword or the other sword. And now I have the bow. So let me go back into this here. So when I click one, it equips the bow. And unequips, oh, when I unclick it, and then when I actually have the bow, when I cl uh, click the mouse button, he does the animation of um, shooting. So I can look at that side by side. Let's un maximize this here. So the side view. Focus in on the uh, the player here. Player model. So there you have it. Now it's based on player speed. So right now, if I go into the player stats, current speed is 0 0.03. So if I change it to let's say 0 0.06, a little quicker. And also the run walk speed is much faster as well. And then if I put it back to like 0.01, let's say current speed, very slow. 0.6 would be fast. Let's say what one would be. So now he's like <laughs> stuck in a building over here. All right, so I got the equipping of the bow down and I got the animation down and let me go into the scripts if anyone wants to uh, see how this is done. So first I have here, 
action slots manager and I add it here if the active right hand item or left hand item is a bow it's going to enable that part of the mesh which is here this mesh bow so basically all it's doing when you equip it is just activating it activating that game object which is here bow and once that's activated it activates um, a game object on there which has bow combat the bow combat script and this is what handles the um, the animation so if the this bow combat is active which is attached to the game object of the bow then and input get key get, get key down is a mouse button it's going to start the curve routine shoot arrow and right now I don't have the arrow, but I have the actual animation. So when the bow is equipped and you, you press down mouse button, it's going to shoot the bow or shoot the arrow on the bow. And simply when you deactivate or unequip a uh, item or spell, and if it's a bow, it's going to disable that particular game object which I just showed so that's how I handled that so far and I think I'm gonna have to create like some kind of maybe like a projectile manager or something and I could use for spells that will instantiate an arrow when the player actually shoots the bow so when he, as soon as he let's say pulls it back here maybe there's gonna be a, an arrow and then it's gonna shoot to whatever direction the mouse is pointing. I haven't got that far yet, but at least I got the uh, the bow down and the the actual animation, which is, and this is getting a little out of hand too, this whole uh, <laughs> animator here. So I put it down here, player shoot bow. And that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. Um, thanks for watching.